What's going on guys? Chaos here bringing you another gameplay, but today it's going to be a little bit different because instead of you just watching the gameplay with just the game volume, I'm going to be speaking to you guys because uh, I've got a lot on my mind and I'd like to share it all with you. Um, mainly going to be about YouTube and uh, MLG, nothing else. But uh, what you're seeing in the background is a super hard point as you can probably guess. Um, I'm going to guess most of you subscribers are uh, card players yourself. Um, so this is a super hard point. Uh, this is a ranked play match. Is that a ranked play or a scrim? I cannot remember. It's a fairly old clip. I think it was about a couple of weeks ago. But uh, I've played a lot of matches since, so I'm not entirely sure if this is a ranked play or a, uh, a scrim. But uh, today it's going to be split into two parts. Um, the first part is going to be looking back what I've accomplished and. Uh, this, but it's not going to be too too long because uh, I've really been doing YouTube that long. I think I've been doing it for about three weeks, four weeks, something like that, in terms of video call, uh, content. Um, and then I'm going to be looking ahead, um, which is going to be what's, what's going to be going through my head, what's going to be in the future, perhaps new people to come into the streams, new people in the video, new series, that sort of thing. So, uh, yeah, let's get into the video. So, the first part of this video is obviously going to be the looking behind a bit. What have I accomplished? In terms of my channel, I haven't actually accomplished what I would want to to have accomplished. I mean, I'm a speedy guy. Now, when I say that, I sort of like things to be done quick. I like things to sort of get to the top um, fairly quickly, actually. But um, sometimes that can be a little bit difficult, especially considering, you know, I understand YouTube doesn't have an overnight. Some people spend months on very little viewership, very little content, and uh, I think that comes down to because I don't advertise my stuff as much as I probably should. So perhaps in the future, um, I perhaps you know sort of you know advertise my stuff a bit more. Perhaps advertise myself on a different website because the only thing I have actually advertising wise is actually a Minecraft thing. And if I'm wanting to do COD, um, it's not really going to work out because uh, Minecraft and COD are two completely different games. Minecraft's a sandbox game, COD's an FPS. You know, if you can't see the difference, then, uh... I don't know. I don't know if you don't understand the difference between uh, Minecraft and uh, COD. I think you may want to look into your games uh, a little bit before uh, you do anything else with uh, gaming. But, um, something that I would also want to talk about is obviously my MLG. It has been, at the moment, is why is in tires in front of me. I'm trying to salvage what I've made of my YouTube uh, YouTube uh, MLG career, my COD career. I'm gonna guess most of you know I haven't really succeeded. I really haven't found a lot of success from what I've actually accomplished in my COD career. I mean, I've won stuff, but you know, it hasn't been something that I could like pursue properly like you know oh I could do this real for real now you know I'm winning a lot I've got really good teammates I mean no doubt to my current team Ascension Esports you know they're not a bad team without a doubt they're not a bad team they're an average team they're an amateur team that's pretty much what I'm looking for is an amateur team I do sometimes feel that because it's an amateur team it's a little bit inexperienced so sometimes it can be a little bit difficult you know understanding them perhaps they don't understand competitive Call of Duty as I do. Mm. Lovely water. Oh, it's great when you're at 11 o'clock at night and you're, uh, you're talking to a microphone. With an empty vase of a screen. But, um, so basically, I mean like I said, no disrespect to them, they're trying, they really are, but from the teams that I've been in, mm, exceptional basically, um, you know, it was a lot more organized, it was a lot more of a, a team, and, uh, you know, when I started competitive Call of Duty, I started off with Chaos Gaming. This is Advanced Warfare, not Black Ops 2. I started with Chaos Gaming, and then that became Wise Powers, and then that became Exceptional. Honestly, the three players I got in the end were probably the best players I could have found on MLG. I mean, I had Sterling, I had Keir, and I had Formal or Formai. I still don't know his official name, but oh well. It's no longer a team, so I don't really need to know anymore. Um, but the th you know, those three players are really good. I, I mean, I understand their frustration, especially to sim uh, I show a lot of sympathy to Sterling, because he was at the start for Wise Powers, and he just sort of kept with it. He, he didn't give up, and I really do show appreciation. And that's what you call pr 
true dedication is that you know he stuck with it but you know I do understand his frustration and then after when I started doing pro lane you know I start, you know key, you know Keir, Sterling and Formal you know you know we need to start getting some wins here and I couldn't really produce any good performances I was really struggling with GBs and uh, it just I just thought you know I'm just gonna give up the team and you know right, leave it with Sterling and he can you know find a fourth player obviously if you didn't if you haven't uh, known anything from Sterling, uh, he just disbanded the team, and it's now become I think a UB. I think because it passed down. I think it passed down to Sterling, and then to Kier, and then to Alpha. So I think it's now UB. <coughs> Again, more water. It's a delicious MS simple water. No sponsors, <laughs> but um, so um, I mean difficult because obviously I'm not gonna ask them to team with me again I mean why would you team with the worst player in your team or your former team I mean that's just asking for trouble um, so first of all a I'm not gonna be asking them to get back together and get back to a team because I know you know it was just all those things you know potential losses it's, it's too risky to play with your worst former team it, and so I'm not gonna ask them I'm not asking them and B you know I would be as frustrated as they would be. I mean, if I had a teammate like that, I would literally go insane. Um, because, you know, you want those exceptional performances. <laughs> exceptional, you know, the name. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, exceptional performances, and if they're not producing that, uh, it can be pretty difficult. But ever since the end of Exceptional, uh, I have been doing a lot better. And, you know, after I thought, you know, what could have been if I'd become a lot better? I mean, I'm winning a lot more game uh, game battles. I'm winning a lot more gunfights. Getting a lot more practice. And you know, you think what could have been? What will it be? But uh, in terms of like competitive Call of Duty, I can do it for so long before I think, is this really a viable option? And that's where I sort of turned my head to uh, Minecraft. Now, Minecraft is where my YouTube and my Twitch started. I mean, looking at stats, Twitch, I got about seven followers on Call of Duty, but Minecraft I got about 190 and you know I sort of think should I pursue that and it's a little bit difficult for me to comprehend in my head I mean I'll try but you know I need to find some peace for more people I need to find some more teams and you know it's all about a learning curve of what you guys enjoy um but oh no my Minecraft for goodness sake my mic's music After that newbie error, uh, I'm going to continue and pretend that never happened. Sorry for the too many hashtags. Like I said, it's 11 o'clock at night, what do you expect? <laughs> so, if you guys are actually interested in doing perhaps a Minecraft series or starting a new Call of Duty team, then probably not the Call of Duty team. I'm going to see where this is engine eSports goes, but uh, still concentrating on looking ahead. If you guys would want to do a Minecraft series with me, then make sure to tell me in the comments below. I'm open to any suggestions at this point, because I would much rather do Minecraft than I would Call of Duty. Um, it's not something you probably hear from a pro player, but uh, sometimes when I wake up in the morning and I'll hop on uh, I know, Call of Duty and start playing some rank play matches, perhaps some scrims, I honestly do sometimes feel I'm doing this for a chore rather than enjoyment. Because Call of Duty does get really repetitive. As much as I'm a hypocrite and, you know, delusional and different things, I'm going to go out flat and say that this game is just so repetitive. And if you don't get anything from it, it sometimes is difficult to pursue it, especially if you want to do it for something that, you know, want to entertain other people, but, uh, yeah, we're pretty much coming to the end of the video, we've got about a minute and 30 left, so I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of this clip, hope you guys enjoyed, if you did, make sure to press the like button, and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos, my name is Mr. Coming 2, and I'll see you all in the next video. Hardpoint secured. Hardpoint identified. Point 
missiles have captured the hard point. Hard point contested. Hard point contested. Hard point contested. Way to tear it up, Sentinel. Forever.